In this video, we're going to look at finding what is called the greatest common factor, or the largest thing that we can divide each and every term by. Looking at this first list of numbers of 15, 24, and 27, we could almost use mental math with just numbers to see that all these terms can be divided by the same number. We can divide 15 by 3, 24 by 3, and 27 by 3, and we end up getting whole numbers. 15 divided by 3 is 5, 24 divided by 3 is 8, 27 divided by 3 is 9. And when we're talking about the greatest common factor, that's this number that we're dividing each term by. The greatest common factor of 15, 24, and 27 is 3, because it's the largest number we can divide all three of them by. This becomes even more interesting as we add the variables onto the expressions. In the second example, 24x to the 4th y squared z, 18x squared y to the 4th, and 12x cubed y z to the 5th. We want to know what's the largest thing we can divide all three of these by. Let's look at the number part first, because that might be a little more familiar to us. 24, 18, and 12 are all divisible by 6. We can divide each of those numbers by 6. When it comes to the variables, we're looking for the greatest common factor. There's a big clue in that, common. We're looking for variables that are in common to all three of these expressions. All three expressions have x's in them. Let's include x with our division. All three also have a y. However, only two of them have a z. This means we cannot include the z as part of our greatest common factor. But what about those exponents? There's 4x's in the first term multiplied together. There's 2x's in the second term multiplied together. And there are 3x's in the third term multiplied together. You may notice that the one that's the smallest, x squared, can be used as our exponent in all of these. Notice if we use x squared, we could subtract 4 minus 2. We can subtract 2 minus 2, and we can subtract 3 minus 2, and we can divide that x squared out without any problem. No fractions required. If we picked any exponent higher, we would end up with x's left over in the denominator in one or more of the expressions. We'll continue with this pattern of using the lowest exponent when we get to the y's. y's we have either squared, 4th power or 1st power. Because 1st power is the smallest, we'll make our y's to the 1st power. We now have our greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of each of these three terms is 6x squared y. We found that 6x squared y by first taking the greatest common factor of each number, and then also listing all the common variable factors with lowest exponent. As a check to make sure that's right, we can divide each of these, 24 by 6 to get 4, x squared over, x to the 4th over x squared is x squared, y squared over y is y, z, no fractions, 18 over 6 is 3, the x squareds would divide out, and then we'd have y cubed after subtracting the exponents. And finally, 12 over 6 is 2, x cubed over x squared is x, the y's divide out, and we have z to the 5th. They all reduce without any fractions left over. No factors in common anymore. Our greatest common factor is just 6x squared, y.